Well now for something completely different, a lesson from a caterpillar. Right, not the kind met in Alice, but an instructive, uh, Alice in Wonderland, that was what I was trying to say, but an instructive <laughs> fellow nonetheless, so says Charlie. Here's tonight. You know, you can learn from anything if you have an open mind. The other day I learned something from a caterpillar. Now it wasn't just your average run-of-the-mill caterpillar, I'll admit. There's a corpulent green luna moth I was watching one day as he was lumbering along. Actually, that's what I noticed, how much trouble he was having lumbering at all. As you know, if your legs are not proportioned to your girth, even if you give it all your worth, you can't cover very much earth. The problem is, when your entire lifespan is but a few weeks or so, every second counts. So I watched him for a while until he found his way to the road. Once he got there, that little dude enjoyed, maybe for the first time in his caterpillar life, the joy of unencumbered freedom. Well, he enjoyed it until the traffic came along. Now, I don't know if it was deductive reasoning or something deep in his DNA that told him that no matter what these Russian black things were, they weren't up to any good. You can be sure that old boy headed back where he came from pretty quick. I could almost hear him breathe a little green sigh of relief. So this is the lesson I learned from that caterpillar. The life that you have, with all of its obstacles and difficulties, is probably right where you belong. And what you imagine to be easy street, well, that might not be such an easy street after all. Charles Paparella, WBOC News. All right, here's your fun fact of the day. The word caterpillar means hairy pillager. Catter is related to the word cat, and pillar is an early form of pillager. It goes back to a time before insecticides when hordes of caterpillars could destroy an entire harvest overnight. Hmm.